What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another day of uh, Fallout 76 Daily News. Uh, I'm your host, Blackwell. It's Thursday, the 12th of August, and there's been a hot fix. What does that mean? I don't know. Do the kids know? Well, they just cheer anything. So we'll take a look at that in a few minutes and we'll see what's going on. Uh, we'll start off in the store because normally there's a daily update in the store. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got the free repair kit. You can put on any of your characters. Uh, we will unlock it for... Hmm, T-800. Why not? The Explorer backpack is back. Cool. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little backpack, that one. Obviously, you've seen the one with the... Um, Cheeky little monkey in there. I can't remember the name of the monkey. Uh, Jangles, I think. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, this is the one with the little cat in there, Mr. Pebbles. We do own this one already. It is really cool. It's adorable. You cat lovers are going to snap this one up. Um, it, it's a it's great item. It is a fantastic item. Um, let's have a look at the rest of the store. Nothing new in there at all. Right, we're going to pick a character. I'm going to show you what that backpack looks like because we own it. So we will jump onto Lady McLadyface and hop into the world. So there was a hot fix today. Um, the game says it's currently offline, but it's not. The, um, the hot fix has finished. We are back in the game. So um, let's see if we can find out where the information is about the hot fix. Latest from Bethesda. Meet Week returns August 17th. There's also an Inside the Vault we can have a look at and unpack. So we will do that in a few moments as well. Uh, please check here for more information. Great. Okay, good. Superb. Um, let's take a look at the documents. Oh, that's it. Fallout 76 is concluded. Maintenance on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Please check Bethesda.net forward slash status for more information. Uh, and it just says there was a minor service outage two hours ago. That's all it says. Um, I'll show you the document so you can so you can prove I'm not lying. Um, boring thing to lie about, really, to be fair. Let's see. Firefox. We're not using Firefox anymore, but it's still called Firefox. Uh... Is it this? How come that's not loading? Let's have a look. There, there we go. Um, so as I say, yep, the uh, the document just has Bethesda.net status portal. Um, well, click and drag, please. Click and drag there we go um it, and it literally just says uh minor service outage refreshed two hours ago so maybe we check the discord maybe they've got something for us in there let's have a quick look it says the game studios uh fallout 26 announcements no okay um 76 chat anything in there there's no information whatsoever about what's been changed, what's been adjusted. Um, there was speculation that the scoreboard, the scoreboard was going to be re repaired or re reverted back to it, um, its original state. Hopefully that's been changed. Um, and the easiest way to find out is where the cardinal is. Yeah, the bird cardinal's back here. So we're right in the, we're in the right spot again. So the scoreboard's been repaired. Good. Because that was busted. All right, cool. Um, maybe there's, I think there's some crashing going on with Rad Rumble as well. If you're on PS, uh, PS4, if you're on console, um, I think it's PS4, PS5, let us know in the comments if Rad Rumble is now fixed for you guys, because that would be awesome to know. Um, so, yeah, we had maintenance today. We had a bit of a hot fix for, for, the, for the scoreboard and for potentially the PlayStation users as well. We've got an inside the vault, so let's check that out. It shouldn't be a long one. Giggity. Um, where are we here? All right, let's... Uh... Ooh, ooh. Right, okay. Um, so the information's there. 
There we go. Um, inside the Vault Meet Week and August activities. This week, we're sharing a look at the upcoming Meet Week seasonal event, which will kick off next Tuesday, the 17th of August. Also got details about how you can earn double score from your daily challenges and get discounts on legendary items this weekend, as well as Minerva's schedule throughout the start of September. Good. Nice. Uh, meet Week. Meet Week. Meaty treats. Meaty treats. I, I, mm. um, can you feel the heat? It's sometime in Appalachia, and everyone's favourite Superman, Graham, is planning to grill up a feast during the Meat Week seasonal event. The celebration of all things meat begins 17th of August, and as always, there are two parts to this nearly week-long event. Primal Cuts and Graham's Meat Cook. Once Meat Week arrives, three Primal Cut events will appear to all players every 15 minutes in various locations around Appalachia. Head to one of those, take down the waves of Prime Beasts before the timer expires to earn some loot. You'll also claim a few pieces of Prime Meat, which will come in handy at Graham's Meat Cook. Fire up the grill. Every hour, at the top of the hour, Graham and his pile, Charlie the Moo Moo, will appear just south of Vault 76, where they'll be hosting a party for all their human friends. Join other dwellers to make the party a hit by playing music, rotating the meat spits, collecting ingredients, and putting out literal fires, among other activities. The more successful the cook, the higher the chances you'll get those themed rewards. Oh, and don't forget to toss any prime meat you've collected into Graham's Grill, because he's willing to pay you legendary script for each stack of this top quality fare that you fork over. So there you go. Uh, hungry for more? Throughout the week, you'll be able to gnaw on a few extra challenges that will help you beef up your season rank by granting a score when you complete Meat Week events. We're also cranking up the heat on this sizzling summer event with double XP throughout Meat Week of throughout the Meat Week weekend. Starting August 19th, you'll level up with ease by earning twice as much XP when you play in any game mode. Don't forget that's when QuakeCon's on, and that's the tie-in there with the Bethesda event with QuakeCon. Meat Week seasonal starts on the 17th to 23rd. And then the double XP starts on the 19th to the 23rd as well. Nice. For the times and stuff like that, check out the uh, the link to the Inside the Vault in the description below. Legendary Sale and Double Score this weekend. Moving into this weekend, starting right now, it's already begun. Uh, the while we're excited for the return of Meat Week a little later in the month, there's still plenty to sink your teeth into this coming weekend. For starters, you'll be able to rank up and claim season rewards twice as fast over the next few days by earning double the usual score from all your daily challenges. In addition to that, Mur Purveyor Murmur, or Murmur, or the purveyor is hosting a legendary sale in her shop at the rusty pick in the ash heap visit the purveyor now until august 16th to get 25 percent off any legendary weapons and armor you buy from her using legendary scripts so that started on the 12th of august which is today right now it's already going on right now it started started at 4 p.m so it's about what 7 p.m now so it started three hours ago and it's running until august 16th 5 p.m uk time which is noon eastern minerva's itinerary Excellent. Yes, the Blue Ridge Merchant, Minerva, kicked off a big sale last week, and since then she's been taking a few days off to replenish her wares. She's nearly ready to return and resume wheeling and dealing rare item plans in exchange for gold bullion. Minerva will drop by Fort Atlas Foundation or the Crater from Monday to Wednesday each week for three weeks. So, yes, we've asked for this, and finally we've got the information on it. Mad props to uh, our um, community um managers over in Bethesda for this. Um, yeah, we asked, we got the answers. Here they are. Following that third visit, she will return one more time a little over a week later to host her big sale once again. We wanted to share Minerva's itinerary with you for this month. So you know exactly when to keep your eye out for her when you're on the hunt for new plans. So from August 16th to August 18th, starting and ending at the same time, which is noon Eastern, which is 4 p.m. UTC, which is 5 p.m. UK time, if I'm not mistaken, right? 12 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 o'clock. Unless there's daylight savings times, I think the time is incorrect on those. Um, let me just have a quick look. Uh, Eastern to UTC. Difference. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's four hours ahead. Coordinated universal time is four hours ahead of Eastern time. So what is that? UTC. Didn't know that. What is UTC? UTC time zone. So that's slightly... What is that? I'm, I'm confused. So that's six o'clock. It's actually seven o'clock where we are. So it's actually... 
It's a wit. What the hell time zone is this? Coordinated universal time. Where is this for? It is the successor to Greenwich Mean Time. United Kingdom is one hour ahead of UTC GMT during summer. Okay. So it's a little convoluted, but they're not going off UK time with that information. Okay. That's a four hour time zone. It's actually one hour behind us in the UK. So if you are in the UK, it's still a five hour gap between you and me and Eastern American time. Okay. So it's not 4 p.m., it's 5 p.m. at the moment. Um, so don't pay attention to the UTC time. Uh, because we're not in that time zone here in the UK, okay? We're on GMT or BST. It's actually called BST, British Summertime. Um, and that is uh, one hour on top of these. So it's 5 p.m. UK time, okay? Uh, so the Eastern time's correct at noon, but the UK time is 5 p.m. because that's not our time zone, okay? Just bear that in mind. Once Minerva's big sale comes to an end, she'll take a few more days off and return the following Monday. In this case, it's September 20th to repeat her cycle. Cool. So... Monday, 5 p.m. in the United Kingdom. August 16th, 5 p.m. Leaves on August 18th, 5 p.m. So from the 16th to the 17th to the 18th. Only in game for two days, not the three days we anticipated at original launch. Okay, fantastic. Let's get back to the game. Whew. Remember, all these documents will be in the description below, as will that link there for our coffee. Uh, you can donate to the coffee, you can actually, um, to the coffee site there, if you sign up to the membership for £6 a month, it's um, it's £6 so you can get your name on these YouTube videos every day that you are a part of this subscription membership thing. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll basically tighten that up a bit later. So essentially, £6 a month can get you um, your name on this channel, on this stream, on this video. Um, if you are a subscriber to my coffee channel, my coffee channel is linked here. The link is also in the description. Click through to that to get more information on that sort of thing. Good. Cool. Um, so we've looked at the store. We've looked at the inside of the vault. We've also got details of a sale on at the moment. I think we've got an advert for it here. Purveyor sale. There you go. Another legendary sale. 25% off any legendary weapons and armor for the foreseeable, um, which is pretty dope. There you go. Um, and we've got double score this weekend, I believe. There you go. You've got double score challenges on your dailies. So have at it. Go nuts. Go crazy. Go for it. Yeah, cool. Um, it's Thursday, so don't forget the nuke codes. These little fellas down here have updated, so be sure to use them. There will also be in the description below as well. Um, community events and all that stuff's done, so we're moving on to the daily Challenges. So the dailies. Build what are these on for? Build a floor, wall, or roof in a workshop or a camp for 500 score. 500 score. That's a lot of score. Like there's no reason for you to not do that. That's so easy. So we're gonna go and do that right now, just because we can. It's simple, isn't it? We're gonna go down to Charleston, um, pick up a uh, a workshop of some sort and then just put some floors down nice and easy so yeah um i'm still working through the memberships and stuff for the coffee site that we've got set up uh, you can do one-time donations if you want to support the streams and uh, if you want to support the channels um if you find that this is helpful in any way or you like to contribute to you know, creative people making content uh, for the games that you like, then, you know, you can always always do a one-time donation thing on the coffee channel. Um, it's new this week. We've started using it. It's been quite successful so far. Um, and if you do donate, you'll get your name up there, like where Tiny Hens is, um, who is currently the donation king, until someone knocks them off that plateau. You know, so it could be you. You could do that. Right, let's take this settlement over here. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to do. We'll show you what that backpack looks like as well. This is a level two nuclear alert. Repeat, this is a level two nuclear alert. Someone nearby, so they might the take the settlement. I'm not sure. We'll see. Has suffered a critical failure. Hazmat teams are en route. Please remain indoors and await further instructions. I mean, they could come and fight us for it. 
they're only over there. But they're doing the, the power up Poseidon, so they probably won't. Oh, HE eyeball. That's not good, is it? So once we've taken this workshop, we'll slap five pieces of something down. Then we're looking at a daily ops, um, which is on uplink at the moment. <laughs> so let's take a look at that. Uplink against mole miners in Vault 94. Poison hazard dropped on death, greatly enhanced perception. Um, not too shabby. The poison on death's pretty pretty difficult. Um, this should do it. There we go. Sorted. So what we've got there is a bunch of half walls, a floor, and a ceiling. So half walls, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a floor, which is nine, and a ceiling, which is ten. So we only needed to put five down, but we put down ten. So, hey, blueprint something like that. And uh, jobs are good. Let me show you. Um, so yeah, it is. It is literally. Uh, it's called ten walls, floors, roofs, because it's ten items. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight half walls, and then the ceiling is number nine, and the base is number ten. Nice and easy that one. The blueprint something like that just for the dailies you know just for the challenges quite easy to do that way okay um daily quest so don't get confused over this one because the daily quest is different to an event okay um if you look in your journal uh you'll look at this part here dailies these are your daily quests so you got thrill of the grill Importance of communication, the chow line, someone to talk to, retirement plan. You got a whole bunch of these. Easiest ones to go for would probably be Dross Toss, Lucky Mucker, and the chow line. You can do all them three at once, um, as you've seen in previous videos. So, yeah, pick out one of these dailies from your data section of your Pit Boy, complete one of those, and that's your daily quest sorted. If you're chasing faction rep, it might be useful to go do one of those. Complete an event is also up there as well we've just taken the settlement so we could defend it um or we could pick out something else like uh breaching clear here or maybe something else if there is something on the map really much going on at the moment so maybe you generate your own um settlement defense or head to vault Tech agricultural and see if you can get fertile soil procced started on its own riding shotguns another event that you can trigger um yeah maybe give them a go that could be quite helpful there you go we've spawned in at the ag center and fertile soil has procced for us there and take down those supervisors once they're dealt with you'll have to reboot the server again complete five of these and you'll chip off this gold star jobs are good and kill 15 super mutants so for super mutants where would we go five spots let's go let's just go off the cuff let's not even think about it uh the penitentiary the backyard of the penitentiary. Boom. There'll be super mutants there. Grafton Dam. Boom. There'll be super mutants there. Grafton Steel. Boom. Super mutants there. That's three. Uh, go to Grafton and go to the school in Grafton. That's number four. Number five will be... Blah, 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 blah. Here. Sunny Top Ski Lanes or Sunny Top Ski Lanes Base Lodge. Go to those two places. You'll get super mutants. And that's moving away from the obvious of West Tech and Huntersville. Or Newgad. Or Nicholson's End. Any of those places will get you super mutants. Kill 15 and you got that one in the bank of 500 of your precious little scores. Do all that stuff. Kill all those people. Hopefully you'll get a level up in the go. Um, and that's a thousand score as well. Nuclear Winter. Kill a creature. So for that one you want to just spawn in. Maybe a solo player. And just, you know, bush to bush. Be a bush wookie. And uh, try and find a super, super mutant hound or a, a glowing hound. In and around Morgantown School. That's where I'd recommend you go. Or just south of Monongah Power Plant. You might find some bloat flies there. That's what I would do if I was looking for that. And I am. I will be looking for that this evening. So, so yeah. I won't be streaming this evening, but if you do want to hit us up, feel free to come over and drop that follow on that channel over there. Twitch.tv forward slash Blackwell TV. And alternatively, if you like this channel and you like the content that I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up to tell me that you enjoy the video. Hit those notifications so you know exactly when new content's available and hit that subscribe button so our community grows here on YouTube. Um, not really much else to say apart from, let's go and see what this backpack looks like. So we're going to travel, I don't know, here? Someone's base?
Campfire Tales is up. That's nice. Let's go back to the bloody beehive. And let's go see what this uh, space backpack looks like. Right. We've got a generic backpack because we are very casual today. We've been doing the casual Steel Dawn quests. Very casually, you know. Casually. Oh. Um, so, this is my vault. It's not really anything special to it just yet. Let's have a look. Just to finish things off, um, it's the space backpack, isn't it? Space Explorer. There we go. So, you've got Space Explorer Jangles, which came with the season pass. I got little jangles there. And then you've got the Space Explorer, which is Atom Store, which has uh, Mr. Pebbles looking character. Okay. And let's take a look at that backpack in its entirety. So we'll zoom in on that. And something you won't see from the store, but it's super cool when you turn your Pip Boy light on. It lights up. It does. It lights up. It actually lights up. Look at that. You do want it, don't you? Well, I just pulled up the document for it. And it is in store for 24 hours. So it's in store for maybe 22 more hours. Um, and the price of it is 350 atoms. It says it's 50% off. So it's originally 700 atoms. It's down to 350, but it's for one day only. So if you want that backpack, I suggest you be rather sharpish about it and get yourself a bit of a bargain. I wish I had a cat pun, but I don't. And on that bombshell, it's time to say farewell. So thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you very much. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself. Peace and love to you and yours. Catch you on the next one. It's been a pleasure.